Greetings, everyone. My name is Mindmover Pisher. I'm one of the science communicators here at the Mind Museum. Welcome to another episode of Mind at Home. This episode of Mind at Home is brought to you by Locally. So as you can see, I'm here surrounded by some fruits. Um, and that's what, these are the materials that we'll be using for, for this episode. But before we start, uh, just a reminder. So we, want, we all, of course, want to slow down the spread of the disease COVID-19 and to help flatten the curve. So many of us have to stay at home as much as possible. This means that we still cannot go to museums yet or even schools. The virus is still out there and we still have to limit going outside um, and on we only do it when necessary. So remember to wear your mask properly when you go outside or even wear a face shield and always wash your hands regularly um, with soap and running water for at least 20 seconds. So that's the span of two happy birthdays. So while we're away staying at home, why don't we keep ourselves healthy by eating fruits and vegetables, take your vitamin supplements if you need to, and find the time to exercise and get moving. So galaw galaw din tayo and kain tayo ng mga fruits and vegetables. Um, now we can have a little bit of fun at home and is it possible to learn while le um, having fun? Of course, uh, we in the museum have made Mind at Home. Um, and here while we're looking at... Um, you know, staying at home will use some of your favorite fruits to learn more about um, your bodies, how it works, how fruits can help us um, stay healthy. Um, and in the case of this experiment, we'll do some out of this world stuff. We'll learn about planet and our solar system using these fruits and all our experiments here you can do at home <laughs> on your own. Okay, so um, just a reminder again, everyone, stay at home and um, you can use these experiments to um, entertain yourselves while at home. So for those who've just tuned in, welcome to Mind at Home. Um, this episode of Mind at Home is brought to you by um, Locally. So we here have our um, material. So I, can, I think we can um, start. All right, so our experiment for today is called um, Fruity Solar System. So as you can see, I have here a bunch of fruits. I have nine fruits, um, which will represent our eight major planets. The ninth one is not even the minor planet, it's, it's for the moon, as you will see later. So um, let's, go, let's go ahead and start. So um, the fruits I have here is uh, this big watermelon. Nice, it's pretty heavy. Ah. Yeah, ang masaya sa experiment na to is, uh, pagkatapos niyong gawin yung scale model of the solar system using these fruits, you can then eat you know, the planets. <laughs> so that's um, one material that you need, a watermelon, um, suha. Yeah, or uh, um, uh, pomelo, right? So, and then, um, then you have an apple. Uh, try to look for a big one, um, and it should be bigger than your orange. I know you shouldn't compare them, but if you want to compare apples and oranges, then the apple should be bigger and slightly bigger. You'll see later why the apple is bigger than the orange. Orange slightly smaller, and then you're gonna need some calamansi. Uh, many of us have calamansi at home, I guess because um, we use them um, in eating a lot. No? We Filipinos love our calamansi. Uh, maybe find ones na hindi sobrang magka-size. And later we'll talk about the sizes of these things. No? So although we're using fruits and we're going to talk about planets, uh, this experiment is actually about math. It's about ratio and proportion. Pero hindi mo notice mamaya. Kasi we're talking about fruits and planets. Two really fun things. Okay, and then we're going to need a cherry tomato. You know, cherry tomato. A cherry tomato. And as you will see later, it's very appropriate kung bakit cherry tomato. Um, pwede ring grape, pero maliit. Um, many grapes are big. Some grapes are even bigger than your calamansi. And you want it to be smaller than your calamansi. Um, and then, you're gonna need some, ito mahirap makita na, um, some peppercorn. Yung pepper fruit, ayan. I hope you can see it. Uh, if you can barely see it, that's actually part of the point. Ayan, nandyan. Uh, maybe... Can you see it there? All right, yan, ganyan. So two pepper um, corns, one slightly smaller than the other. Yan, is that a good place for them? Yan, okay. So two pepper corns, one slightly smaller than the other. So if they're hard to see compared to the other fruits, that already um, teaches you the lesson about the scale of the solar system. Now let's talk about. Kanino pa sinasabi solar system no, but I haven't mentioned any of the planets yet. So let's talk about the planets now. So. These are what these fruits represent. Um, so our watermelon is, of course, the biggest planet in the solar system, which is Jupiter. Na. Jupiter natin. 
And then our second fruit, um, second biggest, um, yung pumelo natin, is the second biggest planet, syempre, Saturn. No? So kung gusto niyo ng rings, gawa din kayo ng rings. Maybe gawa sa papel. No? Yan. Para, ano, and it's of course really big. The rings of Saturn um, are way bigger than Saturn. Spanning around mga siguro mga, the, depending on where you want to do the cutoff. Pero you can do it um, mga three times as big as your pumelo. And then the next one, um, the third planet, the apple, would be your um, Uranus, right? So apple is Uranus. And then your orange would be the slightly smaller planet that is Neptune, the farthest of the eight major planets. Yeah, that's your orange. And then your two twin calamansi are your so-called twin planets, um, Mercury and Venus. Yeah. So one is slightly smaller than the other. Which, which is the bigger one? Earth, no? Because Earth is slightly bigger than, um, than, than Venus. And then, yung cherry tomato natin, yan, siya yung, yan, pakita natin yung cherry tomato natin dyan. Yun yung Mars. Na? So, ito yung Mars. Uh, so, appropriate, no? Red siya. Okay, red planet nga yung name ni, um, ano, ni, ni um, Mars. And then, finally, the smallest planet is this one. Ayun, mahirap makita the peppercorn, that would be Mercury. And I just made a little extra because that's the moon, which is a slightly smaller, well, not slightly, sometime, some size smaller, um, about seven-thirds, uh, three-quarters the size of, of Mercury, that would be our moon, yung moon ni, ni Earth. No? Um, para fun lang mamaya, makita natin yung scale. Um, if you notice, hindi ko dito sinama yung now dwarf planet, ba, na Pluto, which we now consider to be a dwarf planet, but if you, kung gusto mo pa isali, then you're just gonna find a, a peppercorn na smaller pa, na? So, yun yung magiging moon mo, na? Yan. Uh, yung magiging Pluto mo pala. But remember, of course, Pluto is not one of your major planets. It's already a dwarf planet. Now, you're wondering, what if, like, how do I know the sizes of the fruits? And, you know, some oranges are big, um, some um, apples are small. What if I don't have this fruit at home, but I, I don't have that, diba? Um, then you can always do measurements. Because again, we were all able to determine the sizes of these fruits. So, sige nga, i-order natin sila na. Um, while I talk. Um, pagsusunod sino din ka sila from closest to the sun to farthest. Yan, so, is this a good place for Mercury? Yan. So, si Mercury and then si Venus. Yan, Venus. Yan, so, how do we know the sizes? We can use ratio and proportion. No? Because, of course, if you're going to scale down the planets, you're going to have to scale them down all equally. Ito yung ibig sabihin nun. Pag gumawa ka ng um, kunwari, scale model mo, no? lang parang laruan, a toy that's a mini version of you. If you are going to make your, um, if you're going to, if you are going to make your head um, 10 times smaller, then you're going to have to make your arms 10 times smaller then. Diba? And then you're going to have to make your feet 10 times smaller. All parts of your body would be 10 times smaller. That way, yung toy is proportional. And if your head is um, twice as big as your hand, is that possible? <laughs> if your um, arm, for example, if your leg is twice as long as your arm in your real body, in the toy, ganun din dapat, na? your leg should also be twice as long as your arm. So that you remain proportional. Yun yung tinatawag na ratio and proportion. That's how you can get um, a proportional model no? of you. A scale model, tawag nila sa math. Kasi the scales are the same. So how can we make a scale model of our solar system kung iba yung mga prutas natin sa bahay? No? Wala tayong ganito. Or for example, you, have, you start with a lemon. How do you know how big the other fruits are? So yun nga. It's easier to start. It's easiest to start with the biggest um, fruit that you have. So, ano yung pinakamalaking prutas niya sa bahay? Baka, baka pinya, or baka watermelon, or baka melon, right? Baka jackfruit. Yan. Kung anong prutas man meron kayo sa bahay, yun yung pinakamalaki, no? Yun yung gamitin yung basihan. That's, your, uh, that's what we're gonna use as basis. Measure its um, size. And of course, it's not gonna be round. Uh, perfectly round, which is okay din naman kasi si Jupiter hindi naman perfectly round actually. Jupiter bulges in the side, no? hindi siya spherical. Dahil yung sa sobrang bilis ni Jupiter umikot. No? Once every 10 hours, nakakahilo yung speed ni Jupiter. Ang laki-laki na pero ang bilis niyang umikot. So, ganun lang. So, 
medyo i ano mo lang hanapin mo yung hindi yung longest side hindi din yung shortest side somewhere between Just measure mo itong mga ano to mga hmm, approximately mga 25 centimeters yung laki ng ating um, watermelon ng ating pakwan so once meron ka ng pinakamalaking planet ang gagawin mo na lang para malaman yung size ng other planets is you're gonna divide no so take out your calculators and many of us have calculators in our cell phones already then you're gonna divide to get the size of Saturn, kunin niyo yung size ng Jupiter and then divide by 1.2. No? So kung ano man ang laki nito, say yun nga, 24, say 23, 24, somewhere there, 23.5 centimeters. Divide that by 1.2 at yun dapat yung laki ng Saturn fruit mo. Right? So that can be, uh, in my case, yung nahanap ko na ganun na size nung nag, um, namili ako sa market kahapon um, is... Um, Ito, suha or um, pomelo, right? It could be a grapefruit. Um, it could be whatever fruit you have. A melon. Um, may nakita din akong melon, pero mas gusto kong pomelo yung gamitin dito. Melon that's about this size. Um, whatever fruit it is, no? kahit anumang prutas yan. Mga 1.2. Alright. Um, tapos, to get the next fruit, you're gonna divide by 2.8. So, hanap ka ng prutas, and usually apple yon, mga around 2.8. So, by the way, yung mga numbers na to, um, you can take notes, pero i-upload namin mamaya, no? Para makagawa kayo ng own scale model niyo of the solar system using whatever fruits you have at home. So, mga about 2.8, mag-divide kayo by 2.8. Yun yung magiging size ng Uranus mo. And usually, ano yun? Um, apple. Maraming apples na ganito kalaki. Mga about um, size ng watermelon divided by 2.8. To get your um, Neptune, so usually mga ganitong orange. May mga malalaking orange, pero harap kayo ng orange na as about... Um, 2.9. No? So, size ng watermelon divided by 2.9. That should be the size of your um, orange that represents your um, that represents your Neptune. And again, pwedeng magkabalik ta diyan. Again, as long as measure, let me review lang ha. Measure the size of your watermelon divided by 1.2. That's the size of your um, Saturn divided by 2.8. That's the size of your Uranus. And divided by 2.9, that's the size of Neptune. And then, let's go to the next one, Earth. So, size nito, divide by 11. Yun yung magiging Earth mo. I think Earth natin, right? <laughs> Tapos, divide mo by um, 12, yun yung magiging Venus, right? And then, finally, divide ka by 29, yun yung magiging size ng... Hirap makita na yan. I hope kita, kita ba? Yan. Size ng ating Mercury, na? So, kaya madaling magsimula sa, sa Jupiter. Kasi, mas mahirap maghanap ng ano eh. Pag, pag nagsimula ka sa Mercury, mas magpalaki ka ng palaki, mas mahirap maghanap ng malaking fruit. So, if you notice, I don't have a sun here. Right? Um, some of you might already be asking, why, how big would be the sun? So, the sun would be 10 times bigger than Jupiter. And right now, I'm, hard, um, I, I'm, I'm having a hard time thinking of a fruit that's about 10 times bigger than this. <laughs> So, pag nakanap kayo ng prutas <laughs> na 10 times bigger than your watermelon, than your Jupiter, well and good. <laughs> so, actually, kung gusto niyo magsimula sa sun, like ito yung sun mo, right? Then, mag-divide, divide, 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 divide ka lang. Right? <laughs> divide, divide ka lang. So, kung ito yung sun mo, divide ka by 10, yun yung magiging size ng Jupiter mo. Kasi 10 times smaller. Pero isipin nyo lang, kung ito nga si Jupiter... Ganito kalaki si Mercury. Kung ito si Sun, gano kaliit si uh, Mercury, right? So it's hard to find the fruit. That's why we don't have a Sun here. But just imagine, Sun is about 10 times bigger than your Jupiter, right? So these are your fruits. Um, and maybe we have some questions from the audience. And while I'm waiting for your questions um, sa comments um, there in Facebook Live, let me... Um, let me, what you call it? Let me show you, let me talk about the, the distances. What if you want distances na, with these? So, you want a really actual scale model of your solar system kasi meron ka na in size eh, right? Meron ka na in size. Ito yung actual nila na, um, na sizes, di ba? Uh, ang hirap imagine nila na kung ganito kalaki si Jupiter, ganito lang kalaki si Earth, oh, tapos ganito kalaki yung moon. Yan. Liit, no? Hirap makita sa camera. Dyan. Parang tuldok lang. Ganito kalik it's si Mercury. Right? And these are the other planets. Ang liliit pala ng inner planets compared to your outer planets, which are easier to see in the camera. Now, how about the distances? 
Actually, ito yung mahirap kasi the distances would be so far away. So, let me pick up my kodigo here. Ah, uh, there you go. Yan. So, kaya ito, kung ganito kalaki yung planets, again, I did ratio and proportion here. So, para sa mga older kids dyan o mga na lesson na to sa school, um, maganda tong application ng ratio and proportion, right? You just Google the distances between the actual planets in kilometers, and they're in the millions of kilometers, di ba? And then, do ratio and proportion with their size, their actual size, which is in the thousands of kilometers, do a ratio and proportion with the size of your fruits. So, doon mo lalaman yung magiging distance. So, tignan natin yung mga distances nila. So, kunwari, um, ganito kalaki yung mga planeta natin, right? Gano'ng kalayo yung Mercury from the Sun? Na? So, kunwari, ako yung Sun. Ito si Mercury. Gano'ng kalayo? Ganito siya kalayo, ah. So, this is one meter, no? Meron ako dito meter stick, right? Kita ba sa frame? Yan, one meter. Yan. So, kita sa frame na. Yan, ito yung isang metro. This is one meter. Mercury would be 50 meters away from the sun. Kasi kaya yun sa bahay nyo. Like, kung, uh, parang, hindi kasi sa bahay ko na. Ewan ko, kung hindi gano'ng kalaki yung bahay nyo. Kung makakagawa kayo ng scale model na to, sun to Mercury pa lang, ito yung Mercury mo, tapos yung sun mo, 10 times bigger than your watermelon. 50 meters na. 50 times this. 50 meters. Let that sink in. Si Venus, gano'ng kalayo sa, ano, gano'ng siya kalayo sa sun mo? 100 meters. <laughs> Layo, no? This is 1 meter. 100 times this. Paano si Earth? 150 meters. Uh, yeah, 160 meters. In fact, 160 meters. So, 160 neto. How about si Mars? Ito yung Mars natin. Gano'ng kalayo si Mars? Right? Just by, like asking, gano'ng kalayo si Mare? No? Si Mars, the planet. No? 240 meters si Mars. No? 240. So, that's more than 200 meters. How about Jupiter? Gano'ng kalayo si Jupiter? And ito, sigurado, most of you won't have a home big enough to make your scale model. Kasi si Jupiter, 1.5 kilometers. 1.5 kilometers. Gano'ng kalayo yung 1.5 kilometers? Tignan niyo sa waves. Gano'ng kalayo yung 1.5 kilometers sa bahay niyo? Baka abot niyo ng gate ng subdivision niyo, or kabilang kanto na, di ba? 150 meters, or bahay na ng isang kaibigan niyo, right? Uh, 1.5 kilometers. So, ganun kalayo yung Jupiter natin from the sun. Now, how about Saturn? Um, sorry, Jupiter pala. Hindi pala 1.5. Si Saturn pala yung 1.5. Nag Nag-skip ako. Si Jupiter, 800 meters. So, 800 times nito. Yan. So, 800 meters si Jupiter. 1.5 kilometers si Saturn. So, kung gusto niyong malaman talaga gano'ng kalayo ito, huwag kayong mag-alala. We're gonna upload these numbers later no, as a PDF para makagawa kayo ng scale model nyo din at kung gusto niya talaga na proper distances um, upload namin ah. please ano nyo kung, kung makagawa kayo na yun nga si Sun tapos si Mercury 50 meters si Venus 100 meters si Earth 160 si Mars 260 si um, Jupiter 800 meters si Saturn 1.5 kilometers please upload nyo sa Facebook, tag niya kami para malaman namin, uy, may guha talaga ng actual scale ng solar system para ma-sense niyo gano'ng kalakas yung solar system. Gano'ng kalaki yung solar system. Now we go to our next fruit, um, which is your apple, which is Uranus. Gano'ng kalaki si Uranus? It'll be 3 kilometers away. Tatlong kilometro. Ang layo, no? And then finally, we have our um, Neptune, our farthest major planet, which is 4.6 kilometers 4.6 kilometers. That's really far. It's really far. Right? Um, if these are the sizes of your planets. So that um, makes you appreciate just how big the solar system is. And just how far apart the planets are. No? To make the scale a little bit closer to home, a little bit closer, um, mas, may, mas ma grasp ng imagination natin. So tabi ko muna yung mga big planets natin. Jupiter. Tabi ko muna. Saturn. Uranus, kita ba sa frame yan? Uranus, um, Neptune, yan. Ganda ba yung blocking nila? Yan. Sa family portrait sila na. Mars, yan. Sige. Oops. Kulog si Mars. Mars, yan. Okay. Ah, kita? Alright. Mars, kita si Mars? Yan. Palapit pa. Okay. Lapit pa ng kante. Right. There you go. And then, Venus, um, Mercury, yan. 
barely kita si Mercury, which I think is the point, no? Yan, drives the point gano'n kaliit, or gano'n din kalaki, yung mga major planets. Alright, yan, okay. Blocking natin sila. Nice na blocking. Parang may family portrait yung mga planeta natin. Yan, family portrait ng ating solar system. Yan. And like all family portraits, medyo mahirap mag-block yun na. Yan, compress. Compress pa daw, yan. Diba ganun minsan sa family, pag nagpa-picture, tagal parang, Uy, wala pa si ano. <laughs> Yan. Tapos compress, compress. Okay. So, iniwan ko dito si um, Earth tsaka si um, Moon. Kasi sila yung ating, of course, this is our neighborhood in space. No? The Earth where we live and the Moon, our closest neighbor in space. So, um, to give you a sense of how big space is, um, this is how far apart they should be. So, kunwari, ganito si... Uh, no. Hold up my meter stick here. Okay. Gano'n kaya kalayo si... Ano, si... Yan. Lagay ko si meter stick ko dyan. Alright. <laughs> para maano natin ma, ma, ma may, may may idea tayo that's your 1 meter right okay gano kaya magkalayo si uh, moon tsaka si earth sa isa't isa ganyan kaya or ganyan or ganyan <laughs> actually this is how far apart they'll be so you measure the size of your earth mga in this case mga around 2 centimeters right yung earth ko and then multiply it by 25 no? so 2 centimeters by um, 25 would be around 50 um, centimeters. So 50 centimeters. That's how far apart they will be. Ito yun. No? Ganyan sila kalayo sa isa't isa. Right? Mga ganito. Like this. And this is how far apart the Earth and the Moon are. Yan. Baba lang kaya. Earth, Moon. Na, so whatever the size of your Earth is, um, times 25 mo lang, around 24, in fact. Pwede rin 24. Somewhere thereabouts. Kasi minsan malapit yung Moon. Eh. Minsan malayo. Right? Um, so, pa iba iba din yung distance mo. But on average, around 23 to 25. Na, so, times mo that, that would be the distance between your Earth and your Moon. Na. And that's for ratio and proportion. Oh, now we have questions. Yan, lagay ko na dyan um, ating Earth at um, Mercury. Ah, Moon pala. Sorry. Why are planets, um, why are the planets closer to the Sun? Small? That's a really good question. That's a really good question. So, it has something to do with how the planets form, and what makes them up. So, pag-isipan nyo, ano, what, what makes up the smaller planets ba? Not fruit. <laughs> Not the frutas. What makes up the actual smaller planets? They're made up of rocks. Diba? They're made up of rocks. How about the big planets? What are they made up of? The giant ones. They're made up of gas. Pag-isipan nyo, watermelon. Na. They're made up of gas. Um, so, the gases, can they survive when they're close to the sun? They can't, diba? So these gases, if they're close to the sun, they'll be blown away. They'll be evaporated, right? Um, meanwhile, the rocks can survive close to the sun. So when the solar system was forming, nung nabubuo pa lang yung solar system natin, yung mga gases, na, habang nabubuo yung solar system, yung mga gases na malapit sa sun, because of the heat of the sun, natulak sila palabas. Right? They're evaporated by the sun's radiation to the outer parts of our solar system, where it's colder. And in that colder part of the solar system, na mas malayo sa sun, that's where you have lots of gases. And that's why, that's where you will form your gas giants. Jupiter, um, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Meanwhile, closer to the sun, where it's hotter, the gases will be blown away. Yung may iwan na lang yung rocky parts and metallic parts. And that's why you will have your rocky planets closer there. So that's what um, scientists call the standard picture of how solar systems form or planetary systems form. But of course, there are some planets na nahanap na natin so far, mga giant planets sila, na malapit sa kanilang sun. Uh, mga, like Jupiter, we call them hot Jupiters. Parang gas giant sila na sobrang lapit sa kanilang star, right? Um, we think that the way our solar system formed is the standard way Na normally, ganun talaga dapat in most um, planetary systems out there. Rocky planets, yung mga maliliit, will be closer to the star. And the gas giants will be farther from the star. So whenever we see a gas giant very close to its star, we think na nag-migrate siya papasok. Na? Na kaya malapit yung gas giant na yun sa, sa star. Pasalama tayo na our Jupiter, yung Jupiter natin, did not uh, migrate close to the sun. Because if it did, kita niyo naman gano'ng kalaki si Jupiter compared to our 
um, rocky planets, right? Kinain niya na yung mga planeta yun, right? It would have eaten up and gobbled up all those plants. So thank you for that question. And again, let's wait for a few more questions. So again, for those who've just arrived, we have a scale model of our solar system using fruits, and we will upload to you the scale needed for it to be, you know, correct in terms of size. Now, we upload namin as a PDF para may guide kayo sa bahay, because it doesn't need to be these exact fruits. It just needs to be a certain proportion. Okay, we have another question. Would the pumpkin work for the sun if it was big enough? If you can find a, a pumpkin that's 10 times bigger than your Jupiter. So my Jupiter here, the watermelon is pretty big. It's about you know, 23 to 24 centimeters. If you can find a, a pumpkin that's 10 times bigger than that, Oh my God, how big would that be? 2.4 meters, then that would be your sun, right? <laughs> 10 times bigger. Um, um, yeah, that's it. That's the answer to it. Um, if you have a little bit of a small pumpkin, maybe just this, your Jupiter should be 10 times smaller than that pumpkin, right? So 10 times smaller is way, way smaller. And so imagine how much smaller would your Mercury be, which is already hard to see in the camera as is. Diba? Mahirap nang makita yung Mercury mo. If you're gonna make that smaller, it'll be hard to find a fruit. By the way, this is a fruit. Huh? That's it's peppercorn, which is the fruit of the pepper plant. It's a fruit. Yeah. Trivia. I just learned that then yesterday. <laughs> when I said, what's a peppercorn? And it's just a fruit. Uh, so for, fortunately, we have a small fruit. And if you have small raisins, although most raisins are quite big, it has to be that small. Okay, thank you for that question. So yeah, if you have a pumpkin about 10 times bigger than your Jupiter, that would be um, possible. That would be your sun. And maganda pa yung kulay, no? Medyo sun. Sunny yung kulay. Right? So thank you very much for those who are watching. If you have questions pa later, maybe we can answer it in the chat. But um, go ahead lang ask them. But um, we hope that um, you enjoyed our um, fruity solar system. Um, which is a solar system to scale using fruit, a very yummy <laughs> experiment that you can eat afterwards, you can eat your planets afterwards. Uh, just a reminder to everyone who are watching at home, please stay at home as much as possible to help um, stop or slow down the spread of the virus. So don't lumabas unless necessary, like when you go to work, for example, Work necessitates it and other necessary reasons. So stay at home as much as possible. Always wash your hands with soap and running water for at least 20 seconds. And strengthen your immune system by taking your vitamin supplements maybe or just eating your fruits. Uh, I've discovered that I'm using uh, anyway, um, a health monitoring app. And I discovered that if I eat lots of fruits, um, I often don't even need so many vitamin supplements because fruits are just full of vitamins. And dami lang talaga nilang vitamins. Na? So, thank you very much for watching this. I'm very simple but fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I found it fun. Um, experiment, fruity solar system with me, Mind Mover Pisher. Um, by the way, stay tuned for our next Mind at Home here on Monday, also at 11 a.m. Dito rin sa Facebook page ng The Mind Museum. And also, by the way, don't forget to um, catch me. <laughs> Fisher, um, for uh, this Saturday for Mind the School, which will be aired on CNN Philippines. Now, that will be on Saturday, 8.30 in the morning. If you miss it at 8.30 a.m., you can always watch the replay on 4.30 p.m. And then again on Sunday, 8.30 in the morning and 4.30 in the afternoon. Now. So you'll also enjoy that, that one. So again, stay tuned for Mind the School this weekend and for the next um, Mind at Home, um, brought to you by Locally on Monday. So thank you very much and enjoy. Wash your hands, stay safe, eat your fruits. <laughs>